Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Needless to say, my day job turned into a day, evening, and weekend job for at least the last 45 days. But as a freelancer, that's kind of what you have to do. With that said, let's check out the Continental Trail. I'm starting this trail at its eastern trailhead, the Columbia Woods Forest Preserve parking lot, just off Willow Springs Road. After crossing the Splains River, this two-lane paved trail heads southwest on a strip of land between the Desplaines River on the north and the Chicago Ship and Sanitary Canal on the south. For the first two miles, the trail is flanked by trees on the left and right, which offers protection from the sun and wind, but doesn't make for a very scenic ride. A little over two miles in, the trail opens up on the south side. The day I'm riding this, there was a strong southwest wind, and this area became somewhat of a wind tunnel. It was hard pushing through it, but that wind will be welcome on the return trip when my legs are tired. You got the wind at your back now. <laughs> Around 3.7 miles, the trees again flank the trail. As I go onto Route 83, there is a junction to the right that connects this trail with the John Husher I&M Canal Paved Trail and the Cal Sag Trail that I've covered in a previous video. Here the pavement just must have been redone. It's new and smooth. And the trail starts to offer occasional views of the waterways, both to the left and right. At six and a half miles, the trail becomes Canal Bank Road, an industrial access road. Luckily, I did this trail on a weekend and truck traffic was minimal. This is a real heads up section when busy with traffic. It's also very dusty on this section, especially when being passed by vehicles. a nice trail. A mile later this road dips south to go underneath a railroad bridge. On the other side the trail goes underneath Lamont Road and encounters its first and only road crossing, Old Lamont Road.
Here resumes a proper two-lane trail, but just to the left of the trail is Desplaines River Drive. A dirt road that kicks up a lot of dust when a vehicle passes by. This road will be next to the trail for at least the next mile. At 9.3 mile, the trail goes under Interstate 355. Just after the underpass to the north is the Veterans Memorial Trail that will take you through Black Partridge Woods Nature Preserve. The next three miles is easily the most scenic section of this trail. The industrial complexes to the south are hidden by trees and the views of the Desplaines River and the Romeoville Prairie Nature Preserve to the north are a nice escape. Here at just over 12 miles is the western trailhead of the Continental Trail. But the trail technically ends on the other side of Romeo Road, where the I&M Trail restarts. Overall, this trail is a great ride with the exception of the dusty industrial middle section. It has a surprising amount of elevation gain and loss for a trail that is flanked by rivers. Not counting this bridge, it's almost 500 feet. And here, according to the info map, is where the Continental Trail ends and the INM Trail restarts. In my next video, I'll take you down this trail all the way to Joliet. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel. If there's a trail you'd like to see featured, leave a note in the comments and I'll put it on my list. As always, I'll put a link here in the description below to the full ride of this trail. Thanks for watching and keep biking.